All right, so in this tutorial, I thought we could cover um, command windows. Now, the easiest command window that I know about is the um, menu command, C menus command window, the one where you choose item skills, um, save, game end, status, and all that stuff. And that's done in C menu. So if we jump over here, what they do is they start out in um, in the start method, that, which is kind of like the equivalent of initialize for um, scenes. If you were watching my tutorial about how we, about going through the workings of the default scripts, anyway, so it creates the um, command window, gold window, and then um, status window. In command window, we go down here and it creates an instance variable at command window, so instance variable of window command dot new. Now we ignore this for now. Let's go off to window um, menu command, and that's here. Now, what happens is it um, does its initialize and all that stuff, and then it goes down. Okay, and um, super. So, what does super do? Let's uh, window command. Go into window command. Check out the super. Initialize. Clear command list. Make command list. And uh, all right. What does make command list do? And we find out what it does. It's uh, it would be this one. Add main commands. So add main commands is right here. Add command, which would be vocab item skill equip status. That would be done in your database. All right. So that's um, the string that's going to put in. Now this is the symbol that it's going to represent. I'll jump into that in a moment. Don't worry about that yet. And then um true or false this is actually um, a method okay so let's look at main menu uh, menu main commands enabled and that is we know yep check there game party that exist that's a, that's a boolean so if you have a member in your party then game party does exist and you can use items skills and the other ones that were there yes yeah, status and equip okay Alright, so that's what it does on its own. It creates these ones, and then um, after creating the main commands, it creates the formation command, which is right here. Then the original, add original commands, and this is empty because this is what they want. They want you to use this to make your own commands. Okay? Uh, that's why you alias it. Now, um, add save command, add, add game end command. Now it's pretty simple what they're for. That's also Boolean. Okay? Now we can go back to where we were before, which is same menu. Take a look at it, and now we have dot set handler. Now this is what um, it does. When you go set handler, if we look into, if we grab it, we take a look at what set handler is. Dev set handler selectable. Yep, that's it. At handler symbols equal to method. Now that probably doesn't make a lot of sense to you, but this is what it's. This is what's happening with it. When you set handler, you're setting um, right here. Your this is a method call. So the first one you're passing is a symbol, and you're passing which um, item you want to have happen once you select it. Now, this is obviously item and then skill and equip. And if you, you should be pretty straightforward about what these are, okay? then we have the method that's going to be called when you select that option and for item it's going to call command item so look at it command item is um, in scene menu so we check it out and there it is scene manager call scene item now command personal runs when you click on when you select skill equip or status you check that out um, dev command personal take a look at it and this is what happens status window that's like last that activate and um says window dot set handler okay and personal okay and cancel on that so if you um have selected an actor and you press the input button to go into their inner sort of scene with them selected on personal okay is what's called so we check that out now and on personal okay is here Case command window dot current symbol. So either skill, equip, or status. So if it's skill, then call scene skill. If it's equip, call scene equip and status scene status. Okay. Now that's what that does. 
So, in a nutshell, that's pretty simple, but for me, I've been doing it for a while, so I already know what it means, but for you, not so much. So, let's make our own. Alright, we'll copy scene menu, because I feel it would be just easy to just copy uh, the menu. Maybe. Alright, um, scene menu, what else we got? We have create command window, we can copy that too. Alright, and we are going to alias it. Not just yet though. First thing we're going to do is go into window uh, menu command right here. Now, as I said before, add original commands means they want you to use this, they want you to alias it and use it to make your own commands. So, we're going to do exactly that. And, um, get rid of everything else. And just keep them there for a reference. Now we have add command here. And we can put it here. Add command and don't need them anymore. Now in the first slot you can put in the string you want, so I have no idea what I'm going to name this command. I'm just gonna go uh, call it uh message box. Message box. Now the symbol I want it to be called to be uh referenced by same thing, message box. I could call it DP3 if I want to, or even RPG. Doesn't matter. Now, formation enabled, I... You don't need that. The reason why you can... It's a default method, and it's a boolean, so... If I want it to be grayed out, I can say false. Or if I want it to be enabled, I can go true. But if I have nothing entered, then, um... It's tr true by default. Okay? So, we are creating, uh, creating the command window. Uh, in the original command, so C menu dot set handler. So set handler would be message box for now, and we have to make a method for it to run when this is when this is selected. Okay, so now let's make a method. We can go def message box. Um, yep, just that. And and now. When message box is run, it will go into the message box method. But first things first, we have to alias it. So alias dp3 underscore win command. Yep, win command uh, scene menu underscore uh, create command window. Create command window. Window. Okay. Grab that. Go across a little bit, paste it there, and now we have set it up. Not yet though. Call original method. Now we've set it up. Alright, in the message box we will just type in message box underscore p. I've been clicked. I've been clicked. Okay. Now add original commands. This also needs to be alias because even though uh, they want you to put stuff into it, it's still a default method and other people might want to use it for their own custom stuff, so that's why you need to alias this as well. Alias and dp3 underscore win command what I, yep, win command I don't really care if I spell it right or not anymore um, window menu command underscore add a red command. Yes, I have ma messy aliases sometimes. Now, where you put this is important. So, do you want your um, do you want your command to be first on the list or last? Because if I put the alias before it, that means my, my command is going to be after everyone else's who has aliased this method and used it. Otherwise, if I've um, but the alias afterwards, that means mine, mine will be above everyone else's. Anyway, call original method. Now click on OK and run it. Check out the menu. We have message box. I've been clicked! And now it's not going to run anymore because it has nowhere to go. Okay. Now... We can go, I've been clicked, we could change this to... Hmm. Let's change this to, I, I've been clicked and... Time for battle. 
Time for battle. Now we can go scene manager manager dot call. I think it's call scene battle. Yes, the game. This box. I've been clicked. Time for battle. Oh, and what was that? Because I didn't set up troops. Where does one set up troops? Uh, let's go battle processing for game interpreter. This is how you find things out. You have to check the defaults. Now we have uh, battle processing, and we can go troop ID, gameplay mechanic. Yep, the troop ID, and we can just copy this. Yay! Uh, direct destination, and yes, we can use this. Put that there. If data troop troop ID. Troop ID is going to be remove, remove. You're going to be ten. So whatever troop is ten. Let's go up here, check out troops. Troops ten is man eating plant. Okay, this should be fun. I put the keyword in. Why was that? Oh, uh, yep, okay, that's why. Again, looking okay. Play it. Run. Troop ID, huh? Why? Troop ID, yep. Set up troop ID, params 2. What is params? Oh, that should be escape and. Yes, true, true. True, true. True and true. And you're going to be data manager troops. Set up ten. Okay then. Event prop work new and it's going to do all this kind of crap. Let's hope that works. There we go. Yeah, I kind of figured that, because I didn't call it the conventional way. But anyway, that wasn't a tutorial about how to make battles work, because if I was going to do a tutorial on how to make battles work, I would have done it the conventional way. But anyway, so that's how you make a command window, and how you set it up, and set its set handlers and all this stuff. So, um, start with the window command window. I know there are other command windows for other things, but I like to use... Window command window is probably the easiest, so check that out first. Alias the original command, uh, add original commands method, and then add your commands here, like so. So um, add command your string here for whatever you want to be called. I can call it, you know, anything I want. And then you need the symbol for it. Keep that in mind because the symbol you use for this is the exact same you're going to use up here. And if you want to have it um, either disabled or enabled depending on some other things. For example I can go uh, game underscore switches switches 10. Okay. Game school switches 10 and yeah. Game school switches 10 and we're gonna okay just make sure that works. It works. See, it's disabled, can't use it. Toss the guy. Open it up, there you go, now you can use it. Alrighty. So that's how you can use um, the default method call for enable or disable. Then, after you do that, go up to your uh, scene menu here, and now you can set um, alias the create command window method. Then set handler. Now set handler, like I said, it's the same symbol as you were using for your add command. And then after that, you type in method. And then in parentheses, you type in a symbol. Now, as I said before in my alias tutorial, putting a symbol in front of a method is kind of how you make symbols. So that's how you do it. And it's just a method name. That's really all it is. 
so that's how you do that and then once this is selected it will go into this method here and run all this and that's pretty much all you have to do so until next time